Hey guys, Rama Siva from Start in Mind. I've got my good friend Gloria. She's uh, from Stevenage. And uh, we are here to discuss a few things which has helped me on my journey to expressing myself. So, uh, Gloria is a spiritual... L well, leader. I will not say leader. Practitioner, Practitioner. at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in the mornings and night time, she has some routines which she does, which I thought it would be beneficial for people who started to learn and practice themselves. So, what do you do in the mornings, Gloria? So, the first thing I, I do uh, as I wake up, I say thank you for being here again. I do kind of um, a breathing exercise just to connect uh, back to myself, to my body. But the first thing I do is meditation. So I allow myself 15 to 20 minutes to meditate every day, depending on uh, what uh, thought uh, it comes, first thought it comes to me. Like sometimes I do meditate on the chakras, based on mainly, but sometimes uh, I feel uh, tired, so I do more kind of meditation, but breathing exercise to empower to empower myself. Okay, could you share those um, chakra exercises or what those are? So we are, um, uh, on our bodies we have uh, seven main chakras, from the crown to the third eye, the throat, the heart, the solar plexus, uh, another one that is, uh, I don't know if it's the Manipura, and the, and the root chakra. So if I'm feeling a little bit unbalanced, I'll try to visualize the colors of the chakras and rotate them. Yeah, rotate them, I think, this, uh, this way. Um, to make, uh, but slowly. So I start from the root and I start to envision it uh, color red and uh, rotate, rotate uh, slowly. No, you don't need to do faster, slowly. And as soon as uh, that chakra has a kind of a good rhythm, I continue to the other one, but the, the first one is uh, still rotating mm -hmm. in a good pace. Okay. With this, I do breathing. So it's a breathing, color, and rotation. When I have all, all are balanced, and I feel I can feel the uh, good energy. Okay. Uh, some days, uh, you like especially in winter, you need more work in the roots or in the third uh, lower chakras. So I also wear colors that uh, empower those chakras and also I eat food that uh, empower those chakras so at the moment I'm, I'm having a lot of turmeric for the solar pressures I wear pink that is kind of mix of yellow and red that uh, makes uh, more energy great and what does the color black uh, oh no mm. <laughs> it's protection Protection. Protection. Yeah. Okay, so it's a it's, good color to wear. It's not about color. Some people say that uh, in some cultures they say black color is a kind of lack of energy. It's not. It's protection. You are protecting yourself. How you feel like kind of unique, a bit of color. You can also wear scarves or something that mm -hmm. uh, reconnect with that chakra. Okay, great. So from the root, which is red. Yeah. And you circle it and then going up, you oh, said you see Manipura yeah, as I, orange. Yeah. And then you come solar to the pleasure. solar plexus. What color is that? Yellow. Yellow. Then green. Green the for heart. the heart. Yeah. Then the throat True. is uh, light blue. Light blue. The third eye is indigo. Indigo. And the crown chakra is purple. Purple. Yeah. So what you do is uh, every morning, yeah. or most mornings, you yeah. see the colors yeah. circling. Personal. Because, because the chakras are vortex of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, in some cultures they put circles or just uh, a light. So when, when we grow mm -hmm. uh, and we go into this uh, daily life, our vortex cannot shrink. Mm -hmm. So if you don't uh, practice or exercise uh, in terms of energy, they shrink, they shrink, they shrink, and you feel depleted and just... Um, tired a lot of things so that's why um, it will help so for people with um, speaking problems 
uh, you or issues, you um, you empower the throat chakra mainly. So it's more light blue, uh, even crystals of stones that have that color. It will help to wear them. And, and what does it actually do by wearing a crystal or a, or a turquoise or a light blue crystal? Crystals empower a haze. Mm, it's like a, it's like a magnifying glass, mm -hmm. so they empower that um, energy. Okay. So there are different, di there are lots of crystals, but um, yeah, it's a bit of research. You will, depending of what you are uh, trying to do, mm -hmm. you have to wear one or another, and also meditate with them. So you hold them mm -hmm. and you meditate with them, and the the vibration mm -hmm. of that. Will help you. Yeah, great, great. So that takes about 10 to 15 minutes, right? More or less, yes. I would say 15 minutes, 15 minutes to a start, and then as you go along, um, you will be feeling the swift and the benefit. You can go uh, longer. Mm. Some days I meditate for one hour. It's great, neat. great, and. Um, do you listen to music as you meditate? Yes, yeah, sometimes. When I do the exercise in the mornings, no. I just connect with my breathing and, my, and the colors and the energy. But sometimes I do. And I do also listen to frequencies, healing frequencies. Mm -hmm. So the, there are different numbers in YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. You can Google it. So if you need to empower Throw chakra, just Google like uh, throw chakra meditation, and yeah, some of them are longer than others. So if you are a beginner, start for a short one mm -hmm. to get used to. But they are very nice. Okay, fantastic. And um, during the day, do you do any do you do any practices? Uh, yes. If I if I go outside. And uh, I have a spare 10 minutes, I go for work, I love trees, I connect with nature, I, mm -hmm. sometimes I feel uh, with the switch to energies when we have the change of the moon. Uh, people feel, uh, some people feel really down and really anxious or um, with um, migraines. I always say to go to a park or woods or something and hack a tree. It's a very good medicine, trees, because they reconnect us uh, with the energy mm. below, mm. with the roots and the branches. So always all be, if you are shy to hug a tree, just sit by mm -hmm. a tree and, and let them give you the energy that you need. But Great. yeah, walk or just walk, if you cannot go to a park or something, just walk. and. Uh, Admire the colors around you. Mm -hmm. Don't go, go up. Okay, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And at night, what do you do? Do you have a practice? Yes, at night, before going to bed, I, I allow as well 15 or half an hour to send gratitude. Also during the day, if, if I encounter someone, uh, I say thank you for your time, thank you for your um, message or your book. Uh, I send gratitude messages because uh, gratitude is very powerful. I mean, the, the word thank you is really powerful. So at night I do say and sometimes write uh, the good thing that uh, comes to my day. Uh, and also I do a little pray to myself. Uh, and to the universe, and then I just uh, close. And uh, I sometimes I do kind of put an intention into my dream because um, for more messages, if I need to reconnect uh, with my spiritual family, and uh, so I send intentions, and through my dreams, mm -hmm. I can get answers. Great, thank you so much. That's great. And uh, if people want to find out more, how can they get in touch with you? So I have uh, Instagram and Facebook pages. Instagram is at uh, Gloria Urech, U-R-E-C-H. And uh, Facebook is the same, but we with Wellbeing. So at Gloria Urech Wellbeing. Great, I'll put a uh, link to those. 
to Instagram and Facebook on the description below. Yes. So uh, thanks again, Gloria. Thank you, Rama. For sharing uh, some insights. Thank you. And uh, see you guys on the next video. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.